What's up, everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. Tapes this time. And I have a small little stack of analog goodness to show you here. And the first tape I'm going to show you is a tape from a project of a very, very dear and good friend of mine here on YouTube. Um, I've, ta I've talked about it previously, but I'm actually going to show you the finished product here in this video. And, of course, I'm talking about Full Tang Mylan Sheath, the... Power Electronics Drone Noise Project of my very good friend Eric Bauer. Uh, yeah. Seriously top of the food chain level stuff. Very dark, very rhythmic, very evil sounding stuff. I mean, there's a really great concept behind a release like this. And with flagellating dichotomy, uh, this really shows the kind of potential a project like this can have. I'm very, very interested to hear what kind of next step this project is going to take, if it's going to be even darker or even more more crazier than that. But I really got a great enjoyment out of this. Uh, he put this out on a CDR, but for the benefit of this video, I'm going to talk about the tape. Uh, but yeah, here's the cover here. Spine. Really digging that stuff. This is full-out DIY as it gets with this release. Uh, Dub tape, side A, side B. Take out the J card here, very DIY in, in ethos. And this is hand numbered uh, 35, mine is number 9 out of 35, signed by Mr. Eric Bauer himself. And uh, comes with this nifty little fold out sheet here, which is, I guess, like a little mini poster slash lyric thing with uh, pretty much what both of the tracks are about. I really like the, how this release goes about getting itself out there. It is very DIY to the roots. Everything handmade, done in-house. Really, really impressive. And I really like what um, what Full Tank Myelin Sheath brings. If you're into, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're into industrial or or power electronics or drone or noise, this project is definitely worth something paying attention to. So check out Flagellating Dichotomy by Full Tank Myelin Sheath and go support Eric Bauer while you're at it. He is one of the best YouTubers. One of the best metal YouTubers on this website, period. So, yeah. These next couple of tapes I got from a very good friend of mine, Mr. Kyle of uh, the band Couple Skate. Uh, not only does he have a really great band, but he also runs a really good distro uh, uh, label called uh, Misanthropic Ignorance. And he recently hooked me up with some really great releases from that label. And the first tape I'm going to show you from that little stack is probably one of the very best black metal splits you will hear all year. And it is so perfect that it's on a format like cassette tape because it really brings out the raw greatness of what black metal is all about. This is the split between White Worm and Unrest. Really awesome cover here. Um, but yeah... Two one-man projects from the U.S., both very different styles of black metal. Uh, White Worm is something very special. I believe uh, this is a one-man project based out of Georgia. And uh, this project put out a demo tape uh, a couple of years ago through the um, Foreign Sounds Children of the Night label. I think it was also self-released. That was some seriously impressive stuff, but with these three tracks that are on this split... It really shows you that White Worm is a band to be looking out for and paying attention to. All natural, very genuine. I love the vocals. I love the musicianship. It is very awesome. It has a very crisp and clear sound to it, but it feels like what a black metal release is supposed to feel like. I mean, Crimson Reward, Swallowed by the Whole of the Night, Cloven Hoof and Serpent's Tongue. Seriously excellent songs here. I love the song structurings. I love the payoffs. I love the riffs. It is just an incredible side of the split. Probably my personal favorite side of the split, to be perfectly honest. The Unrest side is pretty good, too. Um, Unrest is based out of Ohio, another one-man project. A lot more raw, I would say, than White Worm. Very necrotic sounding. And I love what Unrest does with the three tracks that are on this side of the split, um, Abhorrence, Betrayal, and Rot. Seriously great black metal, very dirty, very filthy, very chaotic black metal. And I love what that side of the split goes for with, uh, with uh, the Unrest songs. It's really awesome. But anywho, here's the cover again. Very, very nice. You got the spine here with both band names, track listing, and label information. <coughs> Excuse me. Blue Pro Tape. 
white worm side. And I love these logos that are on the tape here. Very, very nice. Unrest. You have the Unrest logo here. Uh, Pro J card. This is hand numbered. Mine is number 53 out of 100. Very, very nicely done here. You have white worm here. You have Unrest right there. Track listing and credits. And I like what this says here on the opposite side of the spine. Retching from light, I am one with the void. That's black metal right there. And um, it also came with these two nifty little screen printed patches. Uh, you have this uh, white worm patch, silk screen canvas, and uh, unrest silk screen canvas patch. So these are pretty damn cool. So this is one of the best black metal splits of this year. Check out white worm and unrest. And the other release is something from Kyle's project, but this is a split. And this is a split that I'm very happy was made possible. This is the split between Couple Skate and Nuclear Hellfrost. Brutal beheading of Couple Skate Nuclear Hellfrost. Both these bands have. They're kind of similar in a way, but you can easily tell what the differences between both of these bands are. Couple Skate being the gore grindy sort of side of the split, Nuclear Hellfrost having that thrashy black black metal is black metal-esque sort of grindcore approach going for it. I think this is a very entertaining split. It is super short, but the time you get to spend with a split like this, you're going to find something very, very entertaining here. Of course, I've talked about Couple Skate before. Very impressive gore grind based out of Ohio. They put out a really awesome 7-inch last year, and I'm curious to know what's going to be continuing on with that project. Uh, and of course, Nuclear Hellfrost is another band that has really top tier DIY ethics. I like this band's approach to grindcore. Very black metal and thrash influenced. Very much reminiscent of the first and second waves of black metal. I really like what Nuclear Hellfrost does with their side of the split. So anyway, here's the uh, artwork on the cover here. Uh, dude with a machete about to get decapitated here. Ba both bands. Uh, Co-release between Misanthropic Ignorance and uh, Feel Good Grind Tapes. See that right there. <coughs> black Pro Tape. Very little amount of tape reel to be seen there. So this is a program repeats on both sides. And you have the J card, very simplistic, with uh, band camp information and track listings. Very good split here, very entertaining. So uh, once again, uh, thank you Kyle for giving me these tapes. I really do enjoy them and I hope that if someone else gets to buy these, they will enjoy them too. So yeah, hail gore noise. And this last set of tapes is from a distro called Sylvan Screams Analog. Uh, a distro run by my very good friend Mitch. Um, he, I have covered his some releases of his through, on here throughout the years, either in collection updates or reviews. Uh, very good DIY sort of black metal influenced uh, distro. And I got a nice little stack of releases to show you here from that are most recent from his label. Uh, the first release is some black metal from Colorado. This is Deafest with Glenn and Precipice. Uh, yeah, this is a 2016 release, and um, this is some instrumental sort of black metal, very much influenced by nature and by the Rocky Mountains, because this is a Colorado-based sort of project, and the kind of feeling you get when you listen to a project like this is a little bit of peace and serenity. Uh, it's one-man instrumentation, uh, but the way things are handled, it sounds very good. It's very peaceful and relaxing sort of black metal. I mean, sort of a diversion from what you would normally expect in black metal, but still, I think this is some very intriguing stuff to listen to. Uh, it's, two, it's two lengthy tracks split into three different parts. I would definitely have to say I prefer the precipice side of this, of this release more, but I think, altogether, it's very, very entertaining and enjoyable. So anyway, yeah, here's the cover here, very nice photography. Deafest Glen and Precipice, track listing, green pro tape, side A, side B, very, very nice, and a simplistic sort of J card to go with it. Thanks and credits and all that stuff. But yeah, nature influenced sort of black metal, very solid release. <clears throat> Continuing on with uh, more unique, different styles of black metal, here we have uh, Terra Deep with the album Inna Morata. Uh, I believe this is based out of Oregon, and this is released back in 2014, but this is just getting a tape release. A uh, very progressive tinged sort of black metal. Um, very 
very you very clear emphasis on sung vocals, harsh vocals, uh, really good instrumentation, composition work, uh, lengthy songs. But I think these are lengthy songs that hold your attention and sound really wonderful to listen to. Uh, very impressive release. I think he has a new album that, that just came out this year. I forget what it's called offhand, but I believe that this is a project worth paying attention to if you're into a more progressive tin sort of style of black metal. So anyway, here's the front cover here. Spine with the name of the album. Logo for the label. Blue Pro Tape. Uh, this The B-side has a bonus track because I believe this is just a three-track release, but the B-side has a bonus track. Very good bonus track, by the way. Another simplistic J card. I like this um, rain. Looks like rain and webbing of some kind, but it just looks really nice to look at. Very good release. So uh, yeah, that's uh, Terra Deep with um, Inna Morata. Very impressive. Now we head into more obscure territories with this next release. I believe this came out almost 10 years ago, back in two, yeah 2006. But this is getting a proper sort of physical release because I think there's a little bit of a cult following behind it. Uh, yeah, this is Zexies with um, Primeval Mountain. Yeah. This is based out of Illinois and pretty much the kind of tag this project gets is a very unique one. Any SBM. Nintendo black metal. Pretty much it's a mixture of minimalist sort of black metal put together by some MIDI 8-bit sort of drum sounds. I mean, the kind of sounds you would hear in video games. It's very, very intriguing stuff, and it's very entertaining to listen to. You hear these really wretched sort of vocals done with <coughs> really simplistic sort of riffs and almost really entertaining sort of instrumentation when it comes to the... Um, to the drum work and the overall sounds. I think it's a really entertaining release. I mean, some of these songs really make you think that you're really revisiting some classic video games of the past, like um, Rygar's Quest, Metroid. The song about a nightmare on Elm Street is pretty fun to listen to as well. But yeah, I believe one of the, one of the, the main guy behind this project is also in a band called Lord of Depression. Very good Illinois-based black metal, and a couple of other one-person projects. Can't think of them off the top of my head, because I either may I don't remember, but I may mispronounce the name, but you guys know who I'm talking about, but yeah. Sideways cover here, white little uh, cassette case. Uh, yeah, this comes on a purple pro tape, side A, side B, and you're going to get the video game imagery right away with this uh, J card here. Very, very, very good. Very, very entertaining black metal. If you like black metal in video games, this is definitely worth checking out here. Uh, Xyz with um, Primeval Mountain. Probably said the name of the band wrong, and I apologize for that. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, uh, we head to the Netherlands for probably the best release out of these latest Sylvan Screams analog releases. And uh, this is very much a band worth paying attention to. Uh, this is uh, Asgrau with Shging Gestalt. Uh, yeah. 2014 release, just getting the tape treatment. Really, really good Dutch black metal. Very traditional, very raw, but yet it sounds pretty much clear and up-to-date. Very concise release. I love the vocal stylings here. I love the musicianship. I mean, songs like Ira, Schimmenwerld, um, Ut Grau As Onstan. Yeah, seriously terrific black metal here. Very impressive, and I think they're going to have a new release out this year. I think it already did come out. But uh, anyway, Asgrau is a seriously great band to check out here. So anyway, I like this artwork here on the cover. Very, very nice spine. This is also a hand-numbered tape, uh, number 36 out of 100. I really like the design on this tape here. Yeah, you have the logo here, and you have this artwork on the clamshell. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice here. J card with track listing, band members. And uh, band and label information here. Very simple style of these J cards, but yet they really get the job done here. So, yeah, if you're into Dutch black metal, I would highly suggest that you check out um, Asgrau with uh, Shingestalta. Very, very good release. So, yeah. 
I'm going to leave you selected links to some of the bands and artists that I talked about in this video. If you happen to have heard or own any of these releases, definitely let me know what you think and check it out. And um, stay tuned Sunday night, Sunday afternoon. I'm going to have a channel update and a contest announcement to do for you guys. So if you're very interested to know what's going on, I would definitely encourage you to come and check it out. So yeah, I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks all for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Army Hill out.